Hello again, everyone. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip today. If you have an indoor cat and you have seedlings on your counters or tables or in a room anywhere in your house, and you need to keep the cat out of them. Like mine, she wants to get up on the counters and she wants to eat my seedlings. I wake up the next morning and three quarters of the leaves are gone. It just looks terrible. And this plant's gonna have a hard time recovering. Now I will say this definitely works. I've done it in the past, but I wasn't on the ball with it this year and I completely forgot to set out the traps. So what you wanna do is you wanna get some packing tape and you want to lay it sticky side up on your counters. Now, don't stick it down onto your counters. Don't, you know, loop it over so the sticky side lays down on the counter. Instead, grab yourself like a, maybe a needle or a fork or something that's got a very small amount of surface area, just enough to press it down. I actually use my fingernails. They work perfectly for this. But just lay the tape down and as you're setting it down with one hand, use your nail to hold it down so that it doesn't stick to your fingers. And then the tape will actually kind of cling to the surface. It's, it's really awesome. It'll lay flat. So you wanna put this packing tape around your plants. I try to go to the edge with it, but I also try not to waste too much packing tape because a little bit goes a long way. What happens is as the cat walks across the counter, the tape will stick to its paws and it's going to freak out and it's going to run off. It's not going to bother your seedlings. And as back up, this is another great method, but not all cats are scared of it. So you want to take some aluminum foil and lay it on the counter. They, they're kind of scared of aluminum foil. They just don't like the way it feels. They don't like the way it sounds. It freaks them out. It startles them. So if you lay aluminum foil down as well, the aluminum foil and the tape, you're going to keep the cats out of your seedlings and you're not gonna have to worry about it. This also works for house plants that you may wanna keep that may be toxic to your cats and they think they should take a bite of everything. I know, I don't understand either, but it works great for house plants as well. But it's seed starting season and I know the rest of you who have an indoor cat are probably losing your minds over this. I do want to mention that if you have a cat that is repeatedly in them, the cat grass gardens. However, my cat, she pays no mind. I don't understand. She, she would rather eat everything that isn't a cat garden. So it is what it is. So hopefully this saves you all a little bit of sanity and saves your seedlings. Until next time. Bye guys.